Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I have another recipe video for you today and we're going back in time to the old Instant Pot series and we're gonna have a clean eating, delicious Instant Pot recipe. We are making chicken Alfredo in one pot, super simple, takes less than a half an hour from start to finish and let me just tell you how incredible it is and you get a lot for the smart points. So if you wanna see what clean eating Instant Pot recipe I have for you, Chicken Alfredo, stay tuned. For tonight's Instant Pot dinner, we're gonna be making Chicken Alfredo. I'm so excited for this. Who'd have thought you could have Chicken Alfredo on WW and be point friendly. I'm so incredibly excited to bring you guys another Instant Pot video, clean eating, so excited. So let me show you what's in the chicken Alfredo. First, you're going to need some whole milk as well as some 1% or 2% low fat milk, either chicken broth or vegetable broth. I'm gonna be using veggie broth. This is just what I have on hand. You'll need your pasta, and of course, I'm gonna be using the Fiber Gourmet Light Penne. You guys, if you have not jumped on the Fiber Gourmet bandwagon, it is time. They have reformulated their pasta, they've changed their packaging, they've made it even more WW friendly than before. It is only 100 calories for two ounces compared to 210 calories of traditional pasta. There's 20 grams of fiber. That's crazy compared to two grams of fiber. Keeps you incredibly full. There's only 17 net carbs versus 41 net carbs. And look at this, you guys, seven grams of protein per two ounce serving. Most pasta has zero protein. And the best part, you can have an entire two ounces and that is dry for only two smart points. How incredible is that? Now it used to be two ounces for three points and when they did their reformulation, their repackaging, they made it so that you could have an entire two ounces for two smart points. You can't beat it. I purchased this off of the Nettrition website. I'll link Nettrition down below for you guys. Highly recommend, this is the best pasta ever. My husband does not want any other pasta in this house. This is what we always use. And you can't beat half the calories, half the smart points, actually less. Most pasta is five to six smart points and this is two. So definitely jump on the Fiber Gourmet bandwagon. You will not be sorry. This pasta is incredible. And then you'll need some minced garlic. Butter, I'm gonna be using this melt plant-based butter. Quite a bit of seasoning, you'll need basil, garlic powder, and you can use fresh or dried parsley, whatever your preference is. Salt and pepper, chicken breast. I just have the organic chicken from Costco, and this is some Parmesan, so you'll need some Parmesan as well. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So I've got my Instant Pot here. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the bottom with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to set my Instant Pot on saute, and that is going to get this nice and hot. And once it's warmed up, we'll go ahead and pop our chicken in with some seasoning for about four to five minutes. All right, we are warm, so we're gonna go ahead and pop in our chicken breasts, and then we're gonna season these with some salt and some pepper, as well as some garlic powder. So it looks like there's three pretty good size chicken breasts here in this pack from Costco. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper, and then when we flip these here in about two minutes, I'll go ahead and season the other side with some salt and pepper as well, and the garlic powder, and then that way our chicken is nice and seasoned. So here's the garlic powder going to add a little bit of that. So we'll let this cook a couple minutes. We'll flip and season the other side. Alrighty, it's time to flip these guys. So, whoo, they're already starting to brown. That's what I love about the saute on this Instant Pot. It literally just like is amazing and it just gets everything nice and cooked really fast and gets it nice and seared and crispy. Yum. So I'm going to go ahead and add again just a little bit of salt and pepper. Let this cook about two more minutes and then we'll remove it and put it on a plate and set it aside so that we can get the sauce, the cheesiness of this Alfredo going. And then we'll reintroduce our chicken. While the Instant Pot is still hot, we're gonna go ahead and add in 
two tablespoons of butter. And again, I'm using the melt plant-based butter. You can go ahead and leave all those brown bits on the bottom that just adds an incredible amount of flavor. Once this butter melts, we're gonna go ahead and add in our milk. All right, our butter is melted. So we're gonna go ahead and add in one cup of whole milk. And then we're going to add in one cup of low fat milk. So again, you could do 2%, you could do non-fat, you could do 1%. I have 2% here. Probably need to grab another one of these out of the fridge. But we'll go ahead and add in a cup of 2% as well. So we're going to let this milk mixture come to a bit of a boil. It's also going to thicken up. I'm kind of scraping all those delicious brown bits off the bottom. You guys, that's going to give us so much flavor. We're going to let this thicken just a little bit. And then we're going to add in our veggie broth or chicken broth and a little bit of dried basil. All right, let's add in our chicken broth. So again, I have my one cup here and I have my veggie broth. We're going to go ahead and add in two cups of our broth and this I let that milk butter mixture simmer for about two to three minutes that's really all that we needed to do before we added in our broth and then we're also going to add in some dried basil as well so I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of basil just for that added yumminess and then we are going to pop back in the chicken so of course it's not cooked all the way through but now that we've added all that we're going to go ahead and drop in our chicken and it gets submerged in the milk and butter liquid so it's going to really add a ton of flavor as it cooks in the instant pot as well and the last step before we put our lid on is we're going to go ahead and add in the pasta and i'm just going to make sure that it also gets under the liquid so that it can cook thoroughly so i put in the entire eight ounce package of the fiber gourmet a penne pasta you can use any shape you could even use like a spaghetti or a linguine fiber gourmet and have it be more like an a oh you know a normal chicken alfredo that would be over that type of a noodle but we decided that we wanted to be a little adventurous and go with penne so now we're going to go ahead and turn this off and we're going to put our lid on and turn this on to high for eight minutes when the timer goes off we're going to go ahead and let it release the steam naturally and then we'll pop the lid off. And the last step before we put our lid on is we're gonna go ahead and add in the pasta. And I'm just gonna make sure that it also gets under the liquid so that it can cook thoroughly. So I put in the entire eight ounce package of the Fiber Gourmet Penne Pasta. You can use any shape. You could even use like a spaghetti or a linguine fiber gourmet and have it be more like an, a, oh, you know, a normal chicken Alfredo that would be over that type of a noodle. But we decided that we wanted to be a little adventurous and go with penne. So now we're going to go ahead and turn this off and we're going to put our lid on and turn this on to high for eight minutes. When the timer goes off, we're going to go ahead and let it release the steam naturally and then we'll pop the lid off. All right, so I just popped the lid off. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the chicken. So it looks like the noodles are cooked completely through, which is awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and pop out those three chicken breasts. I'm putting them here on a plate. I'm going to shred them. You could dice them, you can shred them kind of whatever your preference is and then we're going to return them as well as the parmesan cheese and parsley back into the instant pot so i loosely shredded the chicken it's kind of in big chunks and re-added it to the instant pot there is a little bit of liquid that will help make the alfredo sauce once we add in the cheese but this looks so good you guys i have one cup of parmesan cheese and then i'm going to add some parsley i'm going to put in a decent amount probably about a tablespoon and a half just because it really adds some good flavor with that basil and then we're going to stir this we want to make sure that the cheese gets melted and incorporated with a little bit of liquid and that's what's going to make the alfredo sauce and you guys it's done i mean it's that incredibly simple so i'm just going to keep stirring until my cheese is melted and then we'll plate this up I'm gonna pop some organic broccoli in the microwave for a side and I'll be back to show you dinner and give you points
All right, so here is my dinner. This looks incredible. So I have some of the broccoli, zero smart points. I added some salt and pepper. And then the pasta actually makes four servings. So this is quite a large serving. And we still have all this left after dishing up the both of us. So this may be even less than a fourth of it, but I'm gonna count it as one fourth, which is nine smart points on both blue and purple, and that is using the Fiber Gourmet pasta. If you use a different pasta, you'll have to recalculate the points. If you use a zero point pasta on the purple plan, you can actually deduct two points, so it would be seven points, and it is 11 on the green plan because you have to account for chicken, and it's a total of 399 calories per serving. So this is my dinner. I'm so excited. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? So highly recommend picking up the fiber gourmet pasta and checking out this instant pot chicken alfredo. Thank you for joining me on another instant pot series, WW recipe, clean eating chicken alfredo. It was amazing. So incredibly delicious. And you got one fourth of that entire pot for the smart points. You can't beat that. I was absolutely stuffed but it was absolutely delicious. So the recipe is on my website. The link for my website is down in the description box below. So just head on over to my website. You can print off the recipe. You do have to copy and paste it into a Word document. Unfortunately, the server I use for my website doesn't have a printing capability, but it's very simple to just copy and paste the recipe but you guys have to make this. It's absolutely delicious. Now you can make this on the stovetop if you don't have an instant pot. So that's an option. You could even do this in your slow cooker. Also down in the description box is the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our community over there. Over 15,000 strong. It's very supportive, loving. You can ask your questions and tons of tips and tricks are shared on my Facebook group as well. Links to all my favorite things and discount codes are also in the description box. If you're new, make sure you stick around, hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't wanna miss a single one. I'd appreciate a big, huge thumbs up on this video. If you love recipe videos, Instant Pot, all the things, give my video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I very, very much appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Definitely give this recipe a try. It is again on my website. Have a wonderful day, guys. See you later. Bye. <laughs>